Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Fantasy Ranch, play the game, live the dream from Fantasy Board Games. And as you can tell from the cover this seems to be about horses. Um, and to say I'm excited would be a horrific understatement. Um, full disclosure, um, I love horses. I used to ride them when I was a kid. I've always wished I'd own my own one. Um, but this one is a horse ranching board game for two to four players. Um, and I'm really excited to review it. <laughs> um, so this is a review copy. Um, thank you um, for sending it to me so I can share it with you guys. Um, and so let's start right into the unboxing. So the box itself, you can hear it. It's that kind of waxy cover. Um, it seems nice and safe. Um, and photographic artwork on the front. It looks nice. Let's have a look and see what's on the back. So as you can see, this is playtime 60 minutes. Um, it's for two to four players and for ages 12 and up. And um, what I know about this game so far is that basically you have a horse ranch and you're trying to improve it by winning competitions and things like that to have the best ranch. Um, so that sounds super fun to me. It sounds like a very um, thinly disguised economic this disguised thinly disguised economic game. Um, but look, there are po there are horsey meeples. Um, there's a whole little list of contents here. There's a whole lot of stuff in the box, which seems really impressive. Um, you got player boards, there are modular tiles. Yeah, let's, so we'll just go right into it and see what it's there. Um, what's in there? Okay, so here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Nice big box. Okay, we'll all fit the screen. Yay, it does. Okay, so the first thing says, Howdy, welcome to Fantasy Ranch. Why, thank you. Um, so what's it say? There are two different games you can play using the pieces in this box. Each game has three different levels, so you can choose just the right game for the day. That's cool. So there's a game for kids, there's a game for teens and adults. Okay, that's quite nice that they've done that, because it does seem like a game that might appeal to kind of younger people too. Um, so that's good to be able to play with family. It's a family-owned business who's made this. That's lovely, isn't it? Very nice. And then here we go, straight into the rule book. And it says, Whoa! Watch a video, guys, so you can learn how to play from a video. Look at the cover of this. It's beautifully coloured, isn't it? So, list the contents. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a big robot. Look at the size of it. it takes up two things. Um, the paper is really good. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice texture. So, we've got three levels of play. So, it talks you through all of these. It tells you a little bit about being a ranch owner. So, the basics. So, there are goods tokens, occasion tokens, horse figures. I'm sold on this. Um, I love the way it's laid out. There's not actually a ton of text on the page. It's really easy to read and there's beautiful illustrations that are basically looks like what the game will look like when you set it up and that's really what you want to see in a setup page. Uh, let's see, phases of play. So phases. Free actions. You can sell your horse. Ah, I don't know if I could ever sell my own horse. Phases of play, so there's shows and prizes and finals and then ending the game. After the final shows, the game is over. It's clear with the most trophies is the winner. Okay, so we're out to get trophies. Cool. So these are the, so this this is then level two. So we'll just try to just, just drafting in this section. Um, twist of fake cards, obviously get at it to up the difficulty. And then the boss level, which is cool. So there's new features. Ownership boarding tokens, the board sets up a little differently. I really like the fact that it's got this kind of variation in it. You can have employees in top level and uh, round community. Wow. So I really like the robo. This is really good. I should have probably hurried up a bit, but it's lovely and big. I, I can imagine myself sitting there to read this and I don't normally read robo books. Shows and in the game and then guest ranches. Ooh. So obviously these are cards or things in there and tells you a little bit or is it or maybe these are real places. Oh yeah, all, all 12 of the guest ranches featured in this game are real places. That's really cool. What else we got? Fancy Ranch Partners, so there are people who helped it out. And there's a little bit of advertising if you actually owned a horse. And then, yeah, there's a player reference on the back. That's brilliant. That's just what I want. Look at the show skill icons, different types of horses. That's brilliant. So, Fancy Ranch, what's more um, things? Let's hit the trail. So this just seems to be, oh, this is kind of the, the smaller version. This look, the game board's completely different. So that means that there's a lot in this box. All right, so let's have a look first. What do we get? Uh, oh, it's bigger than I thought. Oh, it's damaged. What a shame. I'll push it back in a bit. Okay, how much is, can you see? So obviously this is like where you're going to your horse competitions because they're, they're jumping in the arena. There's rodeo going on down here. 
Okay, and then, oh, these are the, the, oh, I see. So this is where they have the sponsorships. You can win sponsored events. You get first prize at the trail show. That's really nice that they incorporated that. It makes it very like a real event. Um, the board itself is really, really good and thick. Um, this stuff on the top is quite laminate-y. So, you know, wipe down if you spill something on it, as I say. Um, and there's nothing, oh, there is something on the back of it. So this looks like the level one board. Yeah, so it's kind of like a roll and move, I'd say. You know, you move around, you go to the show, there's a raffle. It's a trail, yeah, fancy ranch trail ride. I think that's lovely that you could play this, you know, with grown-ups and with kids. What a great thing to be able to do. Okay, now, <laughs> this distinctly looks like there's a piece missing and I think it's these ones. Because they all seem to be missing them. Yeah, all of those come out of the middle. So we obviously, we've carrot tokens. There's a person there called Gail. Pastures own. Let's see what kind of quality we're talking about. Yeah, they're lovely. They're very like the boards actually. They're kind of a laminate one. They're not super chunky, but they're they're perfectly good and probably even a little bit better than good. All right, so now there's barn tokens and horses. More own tokens of different colors. And then there's Alex with his horse. And then we got Ryan. This guy has. Okay, so now we have like cowboy boots and minus one cost. More things. Okay. Then there is Megan. Oh, there's a run out card. That sounds bad. Um, more own cards and cost cards and carrots. Obviously horses need tons of carrots, what I've discovered so far. And cowboy boots. So then we have Tom with his horse. There's a lot of, there's a good lot of selection seems with these people with their horses. There's the first player token. It's got a horsey on it with a rosette. Cool. And then the last one of these has Tessa. Ha. Um, I quite like the artwork actually. I think it's really endearing and the door, like look at this. This is really pretty. Okay, so this must be the player boards. Oh, there are in fact two sides. Okay, we'll look at this side first. So this one says run out Triana. You got room for barns and your home. Look at the illustration, isn't it gorgeous? I'll bring it up to you guys. Isn't that fabulous? And now the other side, this one has a much bigger house on it. I'm totally down with that. Look at that, that's amazing. So obviously, Oh look, there's even a little sea monster in the lake. <laughs> I love those little, you know, um, details and things of people having a picnic. Like these are gorgeous. So they're all unique by the looks of it. Yeah, look, they're all different houses and things. So this one has way more pastures. It's pasture five. They all seem to have run at three so far. Maybe I'll find out. This one has range six. So it's got mountains, sea all jumping over the wall. It's very British. There's like a hunt going on. And then the other side. So this one is like a very grand kind of manner because it's got, you know, a pool and stuff. Um, it's got more barns and paddocks, okay. <laughs> These are gorgeous, aren't they? Let's give you another quick look at all of them with me. That one's lovely, it's got a waterfall. Horses are probably like that. Yeah, and so it's got range six and pastures. How many of these are there? There's quite a few. There's three more to go, so we'll have a, a quick go, but these are gorgeous. So it's a home one. Maybe these is a, this is in fact a modular board, because apparently there's a modular board. That would make sense if these connected up somewhere, wouldn't it? I don't know. That one's got a very big house on it. Looks pretty good. Oh, this one has it like a beautiful lake. With a boat. I suppose if you can not afford a horse, you can afford a boat. And then last but not least, this one looks suspiciously tropical. Because it's got all the little veranda things. And then what's on the back? Oh, more big houses and lots of pastures. Very cool, they're lovely. Maybe they maybe they do make up the board because I haven't found a board yet. So I'm feeling they are in fact the modular boards. Okay, so now my next question. Yes. I always judge the quality of a board game of cards by if they've one of these line things around them. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Okay. Oh no, don't snap. I wasn't prepared for this. There we go, we'll finish it. So I'm going straight for the cards that say horses. Because according to the back of the box, um, there are horsey cards, so it's horses. So there you go, you can have a look at the horse. Riley, quarter, quarter horse gelding. That's cool, he's definitely a rodeo kind of guy. He needs two cards by the looks of it. And he's got world show skills, okay. Um, then there are show cards. Let's have a look at the shows. And the back of them is amazing. Oh yeah, show jumping, eventing, barrel racing. That's very cool. I'm just gonna keep all these back the way. And then there's Twist of Fate cards. Now they seem to be for the special fantasy stuff, didn't they? So what's it say? If you buy any location, take one horse from the sales barn that can live in that location for free. Okay, so they seem kind of like bonus cards. Rodeo Queen, so if you have something, you'll get a reward. So they're like gold cards. 
Okay. Do I get any more horses? There's only one horse there, and there's another. This is Ace. Sorry, I can look at the pictures of the horses all day. Look at these are great pictures. Um, some more shows, more twists of fates. Single horses thrown in between them. I wonder why it's printed this way. More shows. So yeah, the quality of the cards is really, really good. They're quite like waxy. Most of this game is gone for those options. And I guess it's because you might want to play this with children or with your family so that you don't have to worry about kind of grubby fingers or anything like that on it. It's all very durable. These are really, really nice, actually. I love the pictures. I love that they're actual pictures. I think that's amazing. Um, okay, we also get a ton of bags. There's standees down there. This is new information to us. We got standees. Figure out what they're for in a minute. I'm gonna go through the other pile of cards because it's got star on the back. Maybe you could learn something a little about horses like this, but it might be a really great way to kind of connect with younger people in your lives. Do little girls still like ponies as much as I did? Not really sure. They've probably moved on to something way cooler by now. And pro hopefully something more inexpensive. Okay, so we got a ton of horse cards. In fact, only horse cards. Right, so let's see. We'll have a quick go with the horses because, you know, can't help myself. Ooh, ah, yeah, I know. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit attracted in, but these are great. They're lovely cards, really, really nice. Um, I think it'd be cool as well to see new horses each time you play, it seems like there's a huge amount of them um, and great variety and you learn something a little about them each time. They're really, really awesome. Like, look at all that, the amount of art. Well, they're photos, but still, it's art. Trying to get a picture of a horse standing still or in motion is difficult stuff. Look at that one, that's amazing. She's actually firing while she's riding around. Awesome. Yep, very impressed with the cards. There's a lot in this box actually. So now, there are horse meeples. I'm trying to hold off on getting to those because they're the thing I was most excited about when I saw this game originally. I'll take out one colour and take out the green ones. Oh, they're much smaller than they look in the back of the box. I suppose that's because they have to fit on kind of the little boards and things. Because um, if they were ginormous meeples, it wouldn't work. There we go. Let's have a look. At the oh, they're the world's tiniest horses. Okay, let's get them round. Do, 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 do. Teeny tiny horses! Oh, they're, <laughs> they're fantastic. And they're obviously in each player colour. So you have red. No, I don't know, but I suppose there are red horses, there are roan horses, green horses I can't do anything about, there are brown, there's a kind of a goldy and a silver or grey, so interesting choices there. The only one I can't understand is the green horse, but yeah, they're beautiful. I think, yeah, they'll fit nicely on the board in the pastures, you know, and stuff that we looked at earlier. So, okay, what's left? So we got some coloured dice. They seem to be fairly standard plastic fare, I'm not going to open those. I haven't figured out what the standees are for yet. Oh, maybe they are for those characters that we saw here. Maybe they will, like those ones there. Maybe that will stand in these, you know, which player you are. And then the last thing looks like um, places. So White Stallion Ranch in Tucson, Arizona. So on your turn action, you can buy a horse, buy a location, farm your ranch. Other options, move horses, how to get trophies. They're, oh, they're two-sided. Oh, that's amazing. There's the information about the actual ranch and you can see their... Facebook page and stuff like that to go look. Um, I think that that's very clever that they've teamed up with, you know, actual places and are able to advertise them in the game because if you're really into horses and you're playing this, you might actually want to go to these places. So I'm not entirely sure how these work, but look at this. They basically seem to be kind of places you go to to use their abilities. But the pictures are something else. Look at this, I'll get to learn a whole bunch about like the American countryside. Oh, that one has a dog, that makes it even better. Marble Mountain Guest Ranch. Like, these are great, aren't they? These are quite thin, but they're very um, laminated, so they're quite, you know, sturdy. Reminds you a little bit of kind of, I don't know, Terraform Mars player mats. <laughs> That's what I always think when I think of something kind of thin but sturdy. That's where I always go, so the lazy L B B Guest Ranch. Has anybody been to any of these ranches? Anybody like really into horses? Um, Because these are awesome. Really, really cool. I suppose if you're really into the horse world, this will all make even more sense to you. Like, I only know so much about horses and things, but yeah, these are fabulous. I think we've gone through all of them by now, have we? Yeah, we're back at the start. So that seems to be everything that's in the box. You get a lot in it, I think, don't you? I love all the different modes and stuff. That's a really nice way to kind of be able to play this game with anybody. 
um, of any age or kind of any skill level. And that's a real skill in itself. So now I have one more of these to go back in. Um, yeah, the box doesn't really have an insert. I'm not sure it's going to need one. What do you guys think? I don't know if it does. It's got a few bits and bobs. It's a shame that's a bit torn. There's my actual board. And then the ginormous rule book. It's a shame about the size of the rule book, but I, I suppose if you were sitting down laying it out on the table, it would be good. So everything's back in. So there you go. So what do you guys think of Fantasy Ranch? How do you feel about the theme? I have to say, Ponies and horses and stuff usually kind of are, are something that women enjoy or is aimed at women, which I think is such a shame. You know, when we can have a board game about making wine, why is this any different? It seems, you know, it seems to be like any other kind of Euro game where you're upgrading stuff to get better stuff to win. You know, this theme just happens to be horses. And I really hope it doesn't turn people off the game. Well, you've been watching Board Game Inquisition. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, if you did, why not think about doing something nice like like or subscribing to the channel or maybe telling a friend I exist. And until next time, um, I'll be here for another unboxing video and I hope you will join me in future. Until then, take care. Bye bye.